Hello children, we do addition and subtraction all the time. Say, your mother gave you a hundred rupee note and asked you to buy a toothpaste, toothbrush and a soap. A toothpaste costs rupees 35, toothbrush costs rupees 18 and a soap costs rupees 22. How much is left from hundred rupees? Let's first add how much we spent. So 35 plus 18 is equal to 53. And 53 plus 22 rupees for soap, which is equal to 75. So total 75 rupees is spent. 100 minus 75 means 25 rupees is left. Rajat deposited 700 rupees in library as advance. Every month, some amounts gets deducted from it. So 700 became 650 after first month. 650 became 600 after second month. 600 became 550 after third month and so on. How much amount is deducted each month as library fee? Can you see a pattern? Look, 700 minus 650 is equal to 50. Assuming 50 rupees as library fee, do we see this pattern repeating? 650 minus 50 is equal to 600. 600 minus 50 is equal to 550 and so on. This means library fee is 50 rupees per month. Rohan is saving money to buy a video game. He started in February with 400 rupees. After first week he had 430 rupees. After another week he had 460 rupees. So the pattern is 400, 430, 460, 490, 520, 550 and so on. Is he saving same money every week? Look at the pattern. 400 plus 30 is equal to 430. 430 plus 30 is equal to 460, 460 plus 30 is equal to 490 and so on. So he adds 30 rupees every week. If we follow this pattern, we can easily tell how long it will take him to gather 600 rupees for the video game. Can you guess the missing digits in this problem? The last digit of the sum required is 0. The only way we can get 0 in the sum is after adding something to 5 that will make it 10. We know 5 plus 5 is 10. So the missing digit after 2 is 5. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. One goes as carryover to the next digit. So now we have 1 plus 2 plus something that should become equal to 5. So 1 plus 2 plus something equal to 5, 3 plus something equal to 5, so something should be 5 minus 3 which is 2. This way you can test your addition and subtraction. If you can guess the digits easily means you have learnt properly.